If someone you've never heard of before is turned up at a Bilderberg Group meeting, you can bet within a few years that person will be President of the United States or Prime Minister of a European country or head of the World Bank or something like that. I feel like a, like a, like a piece of cattle, like a sheep in a pen, like I want to scratch at the ground. And... Show me your papers. Sir, I'm giving you a direction to leave this ground now. We're going to comply with Section 9 of the Criminal Justice Act. The wealth and importance of the people who attend Bilderberg suggests that this is one of the most important political forums in the modern world. Yes, none of us are allowed in. Unfortunately, I don't own a bank, so I don't get to go. But first off, I want to point out there are thousands of people in here right now, but they are turning away thousands of others who couldn't get parking and who they're not letting in. And in many ways, one of the Bilderberg aspirations is progress to a one-world government, a one-world governance, a one-world way of thinking. They're doing it brilliantly. Transactional capital, shareholder value capital, begins to dominate the world. The secrecy surrounding the Bilderberg Conference at the Five Star Grove in Watford has infuriated pro-democracy campaigners. The Bilderberg Group. It's only one subject on the agenda. Dun, dun, dun. The future of the world. We have the power. That's the house of charge. The Bilderbergers had their meeting. I don't really know much about these people. I really don't care. This Patella guy, a European vice president, European Parliament vice president, told the Brookings crowd, and I was right there that they want a United States of Europe. Otherwise, they have to have that governmental structure to save the euro from crumbling. So this is 50 years ago saying we must have the European Union. Because they're talking about the future of all of us, they do have to be held to account. I'd actually like to dedicate the memory of Jim Tucker. 